so I've gone ahead and I've melted those in separate piles. This is the dust that ended up being melted. And I would have shown that on camera, but my camera overheated. This was, and it was not turning out. I used this dish. This is actually a four ounce dish. But it's just, it was just awful to do. I couldn't make enough heat to get it all to come together. So what I ended up doing was just taking this bowl and taking it over to just a local shop of ours we have here and I used a, a much bigger acetylene and oxygen torch quickly and then I got them kind of lumped together and then I brought them back here and then I melted them or I did them in a capel because there was aluminum in here you can see there's still lots of oxygen and like air bubbles imparted in there and this was all the solid wire that I melted. But I did melt them separate just to see if they'd do anything different. And I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but... Eh, they both come out pretty silvery looking. They both got some good weight to them. I'm guessing they're at least 80% silver. Gotta be. But you can see there's still some really bad impurities in there. So what I'm going to do is capel it one more time individually and see if I can melt out some more of that aluminum and lead and whatever else. But for the meantime, I did try to get, see what I could do with it, see if it was worth doing anything with. But it does take a bit of a shine. Reasonable. This one does. This was the dust. It does have a bit of a tingy yellowy color or reddish color maybe. Maybe I've just been staring at it too long. But And this one here takes a bit of a nicer polish. I did the same to both. I just kind of sanded them a little bit with a sanding, quick sanding block and then went over them with a Teflon wheel. Let's see if we can get a little more shine out of this one, maybe. a little more reasonable and all I've done that's just a, that's just a, a Teflon wheel or a rubber wheel and I have to use my Dremel because the flex shaft in my draw bit is all messed up so what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep all these one more time separately and I'm going to see if I can get these last bit of these impurities to melt come out and uh, we'll see what we can do and then we'll do some experiments with them like this is just some real mystery metal if it turns out I can put uh, make wire and plate with it without it cracking or if I can saw or if it can be soldered without if it's melting temperature isn't too low I'll figure that out here right shortly so We'll be back with that result.